atlaba ko star tv emini egwanga ne atlaba ko program okuyitiwa online ku youtube tukwaniriza nyo we bale kubanga otoza sekona ko lwa lero nga tusinzi de wano ku fair way awali ebintu ebinja ulu obo yagala okuuga obo yagala room ezenja ule mpitivu enunji i know mukolo maybe oyagala okwiring a hall oyagala wosula walunjo oyagala okuli abaina asian and fusion restaurant je sobolo kubanga ojanolia era no nyumirwa era ufuna kaddo sobolo kuyitira oko no kuna choli awano enaka sero ku kufa road nga olukuletera program eno nako lwalero nze anyango kiyoga mbabali nga onako lwalero chanja ulo tuino omusumbo kuba in nigeria agende kubanga atubulira ko kuyitibwa kwe abasinga bamulira nga pastor Paul Rika kwe gamba tugenda tegera anti yaya tulabye obulokozi yani olaba okuyitibwa katutambude katuli Nigeria chemba manya anti tugenda kubanga tunyumirwa echenso so na ko lwalero era twegatte konga tugenda ko solimi olufuti futi tugenda gata mu luzungu era tugenda tuvunula ko katiniti ni mu Luganda Peranga, when you will program of each one to Kwanza. Hello, Pastor. Thank you. Praise God. <coughs> Hallelujah. We're happy to see you today. I thank God so much. Please say hello to the person watching us. Hello. This is a good day that the Lord has arranged for our blessings. And I trust you will be blessed. Amen. Has ministry been apparently? How do you find Uganda? Yes, this is my second time to come to Uganda. I've been here, I suppose, three years ago. And uh, I'm happy. God blessed my coming here. Amen. And uh, many people's names have entered the book of life in heaven. Amen. Because they accepted the gospel I came to preach mm. and the fellowship non-denominational mm. which is holiness revival movement worldwide Uganda chapter is mm. doing well mm. how do you find Uganda yes I I am interested because I see flowers I see flowers mm. everywhere I am in flowers <laughs> It's something that is rare in your country. It's not too rare, but it's not too... It's not common in many places. Mm. Ah. It's, there, it's, there, it's there, but not where I am. How do you find the ministry in Uganda and that one of Nigeria? Not only your ministry, but then the gospel at large. How do you find it? Yes, uh, actually that's the concern we have. Mm. Our concern is how to get a sinner mm -hmm. saved from sin, mm -hmm. get his name mm -hmm. registered in heaven mm -hmm. by righteous and holy works of life mm -hmm. so that he will be ready for the rapture. Mm -hmm. But from my findings, mm -hmm. this is not the focus of Uganda ministers. Mm -hmm. I'm told from all the, the findings that they do well in the gospel of prosperity, mm. raising money, mm. causing people to pay tithes and offering, mm. and uh, try for the miracles, mm. and so on, without holiness and righteousness, which is the core of the gospel. Now, oh, that is really good. Uh, we want to know a little, who is Pastor Paul Ricker? Pastor Paul Rica is a servant of God that the Lord has raised up. He is a Nigerian mm -hmm. that has known the Lord back to 1978-79, but got properly established in Christ mm -hmm. in 1983. Mm -hmm. Pastor Paul Rica uh, had worshipped and ministered with a deeper life Bible church. Let me let me let me let me rewind it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you accepted 
Christ as your Lord and personal Savior by then, yeah. how did you get to know about the gospel? Did someone preach to you the gospel? Did yeah. you watch it on TV? Now somebody mm. brought this true gospel to my village at that time. I think I had just finished my primary school and taught us. So you, we who were youths attended the fellowship mm. and he brought the true gospel and we gave our lives to Christ. I gave my life to Christ through repentance from sin. Which means you had grown, you, you were grown in a family that didn't know Christ at all. No, <laughs> that's where the problem is. I was grown in a family that knew Christ, that went to church. I think my father served as an elder in the church. Both father and mother served as leaders in the church. But knowing Christ is an individual matter. It's a matter that happens the moment you receive conviction of your sin. Conviction of your sin and realize that only Jesus can save you. And then you come to God to make a covenant with him that I, so, so, and so, have decided to stop my sins, to repent of my sins, and surrender my life to you, Lord Jesus. So after accepting him, you are growing. Which ministry do you serve in first? Well, I was first in the what we call uh, Akan Church, which was the Orthodox Church of my parents. Mm. But eventually, God led me to Deeper Life Bible Church, right back in 1983. And uh, I grew up in Deeper Life Bible Church. So when did you come to realize that you have to serve as a pastor. When did you realize it? Yes, this is how it happened. Uh, in 1984, mm. when I was in A-level, mm. already basking in the faith, mm. one night I went into an open field to pray. Mm. And I was overwhelmed with the presence of God. And there was a powerful desire that sprang up within me. And uh, it expressed itself in a language before God. Mm. I said, Lord, I will want to serve you as a preacher all over the world after my university period. As I spoke this, I received by intuition a reply. In, on what basis will you serve me? Will you want to be walking and then be serving me? Or you want to abandon all work and concentrate in my mm. service? Which we call full-time service. Mm. I looked within me, I saw that I had a great well of water for the service of God. And I said, Lord, and because I sense part-time will not do it, mm. I will serve you all over the world mm. as a full-time minister after my university. Uh, because after the university, you go for NYC. So after my university education and the one year NYC that followed, so when I said that, my eyes opened. I came back to myself, but realized I had entered into an unbreakable covenant with God. Mm. And that is how I continued until after my university, uh, a little uh, some periods after my university, the Lord came for what I had promised. I've been in service. Didn't you hesitate a little after a while when the Lord came back? Didn't you hesitate and uh, say, no, I'm not yet ready? Yes, you know, even when I made this covenant, I felt it immediately. I, it, it was as if I went into a presence of 
the divine presence mm. and set this. When I came out from there, I told, as though I came out from there, mm. I said, oh, you have your parents to care for. You have little ones to care for. How will you manage? Ah, what, what do you mean? Mm. How will this be? Mm. How will your parents accept this? Is it reasonable? I became concerned. I, I asked somebody else who I felt was a senior Christian, if you make an agreement with God and felt later that you were wrong in your agreement, <laughs> uh -huh. can you withdraw? Whatever he was saying, I knew I had entered into it. Mm. So that's how you went. Uh, so that's... So you, you then had to just give in? Just prepare your heart, prepare my heart, prepare my heart. Uh, exactly. A quite tender age. Um, I finished my university at 27. 27, 26, 27, 26, 27. And then uh, I began... Uh, maybe at 29, 30. Mm. You, that, that's when you became your own ministry. I joined in the full-time ministry with the Deeper Life Bible Church, which I had begun with in 1983, mm. which I had been a member. All right. As well as Christian TV, Tulino Msumba, Paul Wikanga, Limukutu Nyonyola, now my, my question here is that after you had finished all this, when do you begin your own? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, I served long under the Dipala Bible Church until 2009 that Holiness Revival Movement began. And the Lord, by the grace of God, gave it to me and made me the earthly founder, but actually it's founded by God. And I am the earthly leader, the international director of Holiness Revival Movement. What kind of communication was there between you, you and God or the Holy Spirit that you could know that God is now speaking to me to begin this kind of ministry? How did you get to know about it? You are opening up into a world into a sea of information. <laughs> it's the one I want a world of information. <laughs> it's the one we would like to listen to. Ah, wonderful. Well, God says, my sheep hear my voice mm. and they follow me. Yeah. So, something with God is when you know him, and he speaks, you will hear, you will know. Uh, in many ways, the Lord began to speak with me that I would serve him on full time under this ministry. A particular servant of God who was uh, walking under me had a trance a revelation. This servant of God had a unique experience that preceded the experience of my wife, Sister Linda. Mm. In his experience, during a conference mm. held in my own community, Jesus came down from heaven with two angels and took him to heaven and to hellfire. 
I'm just briefing it. Mm. Uh, I have the book available. Mm. Escape from hell and entering heaven made simple. This book, as I'm saying, is in English, it's in French, it's in um, uh, Swahili, it's in... Um, about the Nigerian language? Many Nigerian language, right, languages. Right. So it's a book we want to put into languages of the world. It's a practical experience. So the Lord took him to heaven and to hell to mm. see things there. Mm. But on earth he, he had died. He, it was a death experience mm. and brought him back. This was done three times. On the third time, he said, I'm sending you to a mentor. and you will be with him. Mm. You will use his ministry to share these testimonies to the, to the world. So, uh, the Lord showed him, it is Pastor Paul Rica, I have raised up. And given the ministry, you will serve under him. So he comes and tells exactly. you, Pastor, Exactly. This is what the Lord this says, the Lord says. and you have to begin this ministry. Exactly. In fact, it was even before I left the other church mm. and began the holiness movement. I was still under the other ministry. But and many other signs and wonders, including my personal, personal conviction, the Lord's words to me, which I cannot uh, list them all out here. Now, another time, another time mm. Sister Linda, you have you heard? Now this time I had started the ministry. Right. You have, have you have you heard of her testimony? Yes, heard of her. Very good. Uh, when Jesus Christ uh, took Sister Linda to hell and to heaven, and was releasing Sister Linda to come back to the earth, his Linda said, "The world is dark. Ministers have spoiled." Where can I find the true gospel? Where do I go and tell them that you said people should not use earrings, women should not wear trousers, that uh, people should not divorce their wives and marry others, that they should live righteous, they should live holy? Where, which church can take this? Jesus said, I have a movement on the earth which I have established and put my son there. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. When you go back to the earth, identify with them. If you are there and you're hearing the teaching of my son mm. and obey, you'll just be there waiting for me for the rapture to come and take you to heaven. Or by dead, you will enter heaven. Because the correct word, correct Christianity is presented. Were you by then already married to Sister Linda? Or it I was not. It was later the Lord now used another person. To recall her. <laughs> this person also had this divine experience in mm. Togo. Mm. Uh, Sister Linda, when she came and identified with holiness movement, she's a Sierra Leonean. My coordinator of Sierra Leone, told me that a lady in our country, Sierra Leone, had gotten this divine experience as the other young man in Nigeria who served under you. And it is wonderful. She had not known me. I had not known her. Then, but I knew the messages the Lord was giving to people on this wise. So I said, bring her to Nigeria. Because I was having an international women conference. I wanted her to share the testimony there. So she was, I bought, I gave, send money for air tickets. And they arrived, herself, her younger sister Finda, mm. and others arrived in Nigeria. And she testified in this conference. Because of the persecution that was heavy in her country against her, the advice was that she should remain in Nigeria for a time. 
You get it? Mm. So, and because she had this special testimony, we were going from state to state within Nigeria so she could share these testimonies because people wanted to hear her. Then, uh, after some times, I was invited in Togo. So the team went to Togo. The evangelistic team now All went to Togo. Went to Togo. Mm. And um, there was a young man in Togo that the Lord had given experience. The, another different. Another experience. Taken to heaven too. Taken to hell. And the Lord told him, while he was in heaven, he saw two people having a wedding. He didn't know them. Mm. One, he said, who are these? He said, this is Pastor Paul Rica. This is Sister Linda. Tell them, my bringing them together is not only for the gospel, but for marriage. That's how you get to know that you and... That's why I told you, you are entering to a sea of... <laughs> So that's how it happens. So, so now you keep on moving with the ministry. You have uh, you've been confirmed from different people: Togo, various, Nigeria, various. Sierra Leone. So you've gotten parts to of know. The world, different parts of the world. How challenging was it at the at the beginning? Didn't you Up hesitate and wait on oh. the Lord to give you more confirmations? You know, if some I have just come to so, to Uganda, mm. and. Uh, you, you sp what language prevails here? Prevails here. Luganda. Luganda. Mm. Okay. If I stay here for three months, I can pick some Lugandan words. Yeah. And if somebody is speaking, I will say, pardon, pardon, just to see whether I can pick the words. But you don't need to waste time like that because mm. you were born here. Yeah. So when anybody speaks from afar, you can easily you, are, you can easily download it. Load it. Yeah, I can really understand that they're calling me Sebo, exactly. Nyabo, yeah. If you have been with the Lord for long, you don't have time, but suffering to get what the Lord is saying. Disagreeing with Him. You just what the Lord is saying. But when you just come in, you are learning how to get the, the Lord's language. Mm. But when you have been with the Lord for all this while, mm. and you are used to Him in intimate relationship, mm. when He speaks, you will hear, my sheep hear my voice. So it, it I knew that this mm. were true. And Scriptures give me the truth, show it to me. My spirit confirmed it various ways, and I knew my God had spoken. Which kind of challenges did you face at the start of the ministry? Well, uh, the challenges are there up to today. And I think they will continue to be there until I finish the work. Mm. You know, this is a new thing mm. that God will take people <coughs> to heaven and to hell by that experience, that God will be speaking to people and making them to know and understand his ways, mm. that Jesus will make appearances and you will just know that this is Jesus I'm talking with. Mm. The, the Christianity of the world doesn't know this. They don't know this. So when you come up to say, this is what God has said, how do you know? You know. They need if, evidence, they need the, if proof. If you come up to say, took this person to heaven, took this person to hell, oh, fallacy. <laughs> what, what, nothing has happened like that. Nothing can happen like that. They don't believe in this. They fallacy. don't believe, they don't believe. So, this is the challenge mm. we are having with human beings. It's just like Jesus came to the world and said, I am the son of God. He said, what do you mean? You are blaspheming. How can you? We know when you were born, your father is a carpenter. Mm. You are coming to say you are a son of God. It's a blasphemy. We will stone you to death. <laughs> but the works of Jesus shot it. Mm. The signs and wonders that followed him shot it. Mm. The righteous life of Jesus shot it. The fruits of service shot it. 
So that is our case too. Do you have any time that you have ministered and you're like, from when, I, when you are in ministry and you're like, I want to give up. Maybe there is something, something that is too much on you, it's a burden hindering you to serve and you're like, this one coming from my country, coming from this, I feel like I can't move on anymore. Uh, um, there's something that knowledge, true knowledge does for you. If you know that this is a deep pit, even when they're pushing you with God, you won't jump into it. Yeah. For me, for me to have known reality of hellfire, there's nothing anybody can do for me to say, ah, God, I know I won't go again, I won't follow you again. I know, we're going to hell. So I won't do that. So I, will, I just get ready, let's go. If dying has come, let's die. At Lava, I could start to wait to charge in them so that Paul will come, Galim to you, and you'll get the attorney to come over where is our way. Or where is our way, no? And the job to the Kangaria and Jaw and Yokoya Funa, a Midundi Java and Tundos and Gay Satove, Gabuna, Bag and the Muguru never done Gabam Bolida, or where is our way, no Tandika, Sokara, the Funa Mubuka, a Yava Monsi, Angel, Angel, will return in Nigeria and Gamukambanti, Nagenda Muguru. Nenda that you know which in a watch team boy, no tantica of wares of our holiness, one no Muguanga, Nigeria. But yo, a rani muchala work at his sister Linda, and I again a muguru, Nigeria, and a confirming a church, mu, or Kuvesura Lyon, and took a Nigeria, and I'm confirming it of wares of way room, a rani of our home who come like Kuve Togo, a rani in a Nakakasa church, Munta, I know wares, Gaita and Bunu wares of our holiness. But you're not a guarantee, I know who is a catonda, a dang and I went to move with his auntie. No, be so much achieve your food. A be so much a gambian to what together Cassia together, chicha ying them, and I ying them queer as a catonda. I know queer is never for no mulido, never sang a ninga muacana. Taina chimuza mavega, Taina chagamba mutimantia, a cutting pulled and panisse. Kuba amani katonda goya sala wo kubanga weleza. Era bwe tutu cha ni mi ala ye. So you you so you have served, you have gotten uh, to to go through the challenges by knowing that I've I've made a choice of serving God. So whatever comes, I do not mind. Simple. So which which is the turning point of you having the branches in in uh, Uganda, East Africa, Togo? Uh, these other countries that you have had? Now we have uh, branches over 40 countries in the world. Holiness Revival Movement worldwide. Mm. I have traveled for over 20 countries mm. and I'm still traveling. Because there are 40 and you've just covered 20. <laughs> <laughs> I have gone to. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I from here I'm moving to Kenya. Uh, I have so many countries. I've been to many states enough in United States of America. I'm going to have a conference with Holiness Movement in America. Uh, uh, June this year. That's my plan. Mm. I finish with. Uh, I had had I just finished with them in Zoom. Last week, that's America. I had a conference also with the Holiness Revival Movement in Europe, which we have more than 12 countries in Europe. It's been easy for you to open up all those branches in those countries? You know, you know when God is in a thing, mm. things are done by His help. You don't get any hardship money wise, uh, the, 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 the servants need to be paid, and all that. Uh, those are there, but he provides. He provides. Those are there because money answered all things. We have a campground in Nigeria, the international campground, that brings people from all over the world for conference. <clears throat> Youth conference, women conference, general conference. Minister's Conference. Mm. 
and we register for ministers conference 5,000 people coming from various places or various nations for conferences. Uh, money is required to build such centers, but God supplies. Uh, well, because some ministers will be hearing me, mm. I want to say something. I don't, if it is above you, don't, don't bother. Is that clear? It's all right. What ministers have been struggling mm. that corrupts them, mm. struggling for, yeah. that corrupts them is money. Mm. Because of money, many tell various lies, mm. formulate various testimonies and some consult demons mm. to get power to hypnotize mm. and to do everything making their ways fanciful mm. all to get money but they do all this some get in a way but it has no benefit in their lives some don't get despite all this but then, mm. on my own part, I rather struggle after righteousness and holiness. Mm. Because the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added to you, including money. Mm. As, I, as I make up my mind, I will not commit sin in my ministry. I focus on the scripture I focus on God. I train my people. Don't be receiving people for money. Mm. Don't give prayer job to people to move them away because of money. Let's serve God. God now is serving me with money. Star TV era Pastor Paul abada yogera kuna fe na yogera ebi mwe abawe reza dala abawe reza sidiya gamba ti mwe mwe ka fe na abawe reza nje bisele bisinga. Come rain, come sunshine. Owozi ino wato ziina. Kidi liza mukatondo muwelezi ya denga toina. Pastor Paul, as we were still talking about money, that money yes. kills most of the, of the preachers that stand out to preach the gospel, mm. that it makes them get out of the right track. Mm. Help someone out there watching us. How could they handle this? What is the best way of them to flee from this manner? Um, yes. How to do it is number one, repent of their first, their present state. You must admit that they have missed the road and return back. Return back to God. Number two, they must ask God to take away the wrong vision they have, which is money, mm. not God, not Jesus, mm. not righteousness, mm. not holiness, not heaven. That vision to make money and be great and be mighty person, be recognized, I must have a car, I must build a house, should be removed. It's not part of Christianity. They are additives. They should ask God for the spirit of God, mm. the spirit of Christianity. Let Jesus take over their lives and rule them and lead them as when he was on earth. Because when he was on the world, he was not running after money. Mm. There were times he didn't even have what to eat. Yeah. But his own is, I, 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 my meat, my food is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. The Son of God has come to save and to, has come to save those who are lost. 
He said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many mansions. Mm -hmm. I go to prepare a place for you. When I go and prepare a place for you, I will come and take you to be with me. That where I am there, you may be also. Can you see the vision? Yeah. It's heaven. Heaven. Righteousness. God. Heaven. Let them come to this vision. And then receive the new commission of God which is the same commission of God. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes, uh, uh, he that believes and is baptized shall be saved. Mm. Let them go back to this. Mm. Go to aim at people believing, not you receiving from the people, but you giving to them. Mm. So now, my, my other question is, as these people have accept, uh, as, as someone has accepted to come back to God, mm. they have repented of their sin, and they have decided to do all that you have said, mm. but they still don't have the money. That is it. Then to see that, then they have conformed to creation, because not all trees are tall. Mm. Some trees are tall, some are short. Not all trees are large. Some are large, some are, have smaller bodies. Not all human beings are fat. Some are fat, some have... That's nature. Mm. It's not everybody that should be rich. Yeah. But everybody will be satisfied. Pastor Paul, back into your ministry. Yeah. How many branches do you have now in Uganda? Yes, uh, according to uh, the Uganda national coordinator of holiness survivor movement mm. we have about 15 branches 15 are so so many how do you handle how do they handle I, i'm just wondering at your exclamation 15 are so so many we are thinking of 500 branches that should come up in uganda alone do you know how many people that are in uganda we want all of them in heaven so we are looking for more and this 15 has come up, maybe I think four or five years of labor. Mm. Uh, we trust God will do more. How do you find the ministry as you have come? You have come now two, two, for two years. You've come about, you visited Uganda. This is the second time, sorry. This is the second time of you visiting Uganda. How do you find the ministry? You know, I, I was so happy. <laughs> When I was in the fellowship center yesterday, I saw the people jubilating because they saw me. One came to me, I thought he had something. He knelt beside my left hand side and said, Pastor, you know, I've just been watching you on the screen. I'm happy to see you face to face. I said, were you here when I came there? I said, no, I just joined the holiness movement. I just last in, in is it October. Or, so I'm so happy. I'm finding life fine. So I'm happy to see you. I said, I'm happy too. Wow. <laughs> and I'm told there are many. That's so many have joined since I came. Oh, many. Beautiful. I think I shall see you there. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That is beautiful. My, my other question is, you are a writer? Yes. The God writer. Has made me one. Yeah, and before we talk about many of your books, there is one of your books that I have read about marriage. Marriage. Okay. And one of your line is you do not believe in divorce. Oh, not that I do not believe in divorce. Mm -hmm. The Bible does not allow divorce and remarriage. So I'm just reading it out to people as somebody reading our constitution. <laughs> You're reading out your heavenly constitution to people. To understand that, you know what, the Bible says this and this. Exactly. What pushed you to write that book? Uh, you know, there are many ways we eat. Mm -hmm. We eat by taking solid food. We eat by drinking solid meal. Mm -hmm. We eat by many other mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm I telling you, all is just to run to the stomach. So, as we have the message, we preach it, we teach it, we sing it, we write it. 
all to I'm telling you to get people know these things and repent from their sins and enter heaven into heaven. So that's what pushed you. That sure. You find this that kind of if let somebody sit quietly and meditate in case I'm too fast in speaking. Mm -hmm. Let him read line by line, precept by precept, mm -hmm. and they, and get these things better. Which other books have you written apart from that? Apart from that, then uh, the true you, you talked about the true the truth about heaven and hell. Yeah. Apart from those two, which others? Ah, I've written far ahead of thirty books. Many. Which one can someone like which which one of the thirty can someone afford to miss out reading? Every every one of them. <laughs> every one of them. Every one of them. Uh, actually very excited to me, apart from all others, if you take delightful revelation of heaven and how to get there, mm -hmm. you wouldn't want to drop it. If you take escape from hell and entering heaven made simple, you will not want to drop it. If you take divine revelation and scriptural exposition uh, on believers' holiness, including and I don't mean, you will not want to drop it. If you take understanding uh, the trinity of the Godhead, you will not want to drop it. You will not want to drop this. You will not want to drop you this. You know, I'm them. telling you. But I am excited in a book God made me to write. Mm. I think it's two years now. It says the superiority of Christianity over all religions on the earth. The superiority of Christianity over all religions on earth. I'm telling you. This book. I trust that if a Muslim wants to know the truth, if he reads this book, he would drop Islam. Give us a pinch. Hmm. Come. Hmm. When Adam and Eve were in the garden hmm. and offended God by the, by, the, by the deceit of Satan, hmm. do you remember God promised that something will happen? Hmm. What is that? The seed of the woman would come to bruise the head of the serpent. You remember that? Yeah. Ah. And that the seed of the woman was going to come through Abraham. You remember that? By you shall all families of the earth be blessed. Mm. You notice that? Yeah. Okay. And that the Lord promised Abraham that it's through Isaac that the seed of the woman shall follow, not Ishmael. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Not Ishmael. Mm -hmm. He said, please remove the Ishmael. It's not the, the son of promise mm -hmm. that I will be bringing the seat of the woman from. But Ishmael is the father of the Muslims, of the Arabs, mm -hmm. which means the savior of the world can never come from, through him. He has been rejected in scripture. Hence, Muhammad is a rejected savior. Mm -hmm. has been predicted in ages past that no savior of the world will come from the lineage of Ishmael, but from the lineage of Isaac. From Isaac is Jacob. From Jacob is Judah. From Judah is, De is David. From David is Jesus. Jesus came after the flesh on the lineage of David mm. and happens to be the God himself now, the seed of the woman. So what are they wasting time in any other person? This is a beautiful book. Is this already out? It's out. I said about two years now. It's in which languages and which language? Eh? Which languages? No, it's only, I have not, uh, we have not translated it yet. Mm. I trust. So, and uh, it is wonderful. In this book, you will read a, test, a factual testimony mm. of a young man who died a Muslim. This young man died maybe six, seven years ago, or six years, seven years ago. Mm. And uh, when he went to the world beyond, he saw God seated on the throne and all dead people were lining up before him for judgment. So he knew, he said, ah, this is Allah. Ah, when he came to his turn, he bowed down and said, Allah, what It was Jesus seated there as King of kings and the Lord of lords. Jesus said, no, I am not your Allah. Ah, the young man was surprised. 
Why? You are not you are Allah. I am but not your own Allah. I'm not your God. Mm. Ah. Who is the Allah we were serving on earth? Jesus pointed hand and glad, a demon came out from hell on his forehead written Allah. So that's the Allah. It is not my character, you Muslims speak. Brutality, wickedness, burning people things down, killing, doing all those wicked things. That is not my nature. It is the nature of this demon. Ah, I am a gentle God. I'm a loving God. If I had wanted everybody to die, you have all died. <laughs> hey, the eyes of the young man opened too late. But why didn't you tell me when I was on earth? Why didn't you tell us? He said, did you ask when you were on earth? Have you at any time asked that Lord... I want, to I want to know the truth. If you had asked, I would have in various ways shown you the truth. Because many Muslims see Jesus coming to, to them in visitation. The Lord uses various ways in dreams, in visions to reveal himself to them. Mm. You didn't ask. Depart from me to hell. The young man regretted and started sending message to the earth, to the world, to tell the Muslims that they have missed it. Christianity is the only eternal religion, religion of heaven, mm. religion of righteousness, and of acceptance before God, because Jesus founded himself. Is that all in the same book? The same book, and much more. Where can someone get that book? Okay, uh, in the bookshop, uh, in the Holiness Bookshop in Uganda. I'm in Kampala here. Even the ones that are watching from Nigeria, you have people that watch? I have even come with more books. So that they could... Uh, Bought vis video, I mean, the visual tapes, CDs, DVDs, and books. I want you to help someone out there that needs to be helped. Maybe they are facing a challenge to live the holiness. Okay. They're facing a challenge to live this holy life, mm -hmm. and they feel like they are giving up on it, they feel that they can't handle it anymore. Maybe it is the situation of the world, the situation of poverty mm. that is really making them feel they cannot, they really need to condone to the forms of this world so that they can, they can earn a living. Please speak to them. Uh, well, there is a verse in scripture that is central. You wanted to read it? Okay, let me read it. Uh, in Romans chapter 12, I read verse 1 and 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, mm. that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. Now, this scripture is telling us God wants us to be holy. Because it is in holiness he accepts our service. Mm. Then it tells us how to be holy. Don't conform to this world, mm. but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mm. One, you have accepted Jesus. Number two, change your thoughts. Change your thoughts. A person who is a short person thinks that people are, are despising him because he's short. It is in his thoughts. It is in his thoughts. Mm. A person who is wearing a lower category of shoe, type of shoe, might be thinking that, no, I'm not accepted because my shoe is not costly. Mm. It is in your thoughts. A woman who thinks she is not wearing, if, if I don't wear earring, I will not look beautiful. It is in her thoughts. A person who thinks, if I don't do this to my hair, I make it this way, I make it this way, I won't look fine. It is in her thoughts. Mm. Change that thought. 
be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Change that thought. Then ye shall prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Because now, how do I, now, thank God, I don't feel anything. I'm in Uganda, but I, I feel as any Ugandan because of my, the state of my thoughts. Mm. You get that? Yeah. If I move to the street now, I should, nobody should harass me. No. Why? Though I'm a Nigerian, yet I, am, I have right to be here. Mm. I am here in the right channel. So my thoughts are free. If you think free thoughts, and not be thinking that except you encumber yourself with this, except you tie a rope to yourself here, except you wear a trouser, except you expose your nakedness, you have a tight dress, you have a breast exposed, you are not going to be married. That is the wrong thought that came from Satan. Change that thought. Amen. I want your last words to the viewer that is watching us. Maybe you want to give him a last word. Well, actually, in my last word, I feel it that Christianity is lost in many parts of the world. In fact, in all the world, a little percentage only is alive for Jesus. It's lost because of sin, deception of Satan, and the flesh and human beings not being prone to God. They are not even ready to hear. Somebody might be hearing me now and stand up and go his own way. Behind well, this God, God I don't want. Christianity is suffering. And we have brought the real Christianity. Teaching you principles. Do you know how my words went? How clear they are to you? How simple you can pick Christianity A, B, C, D without ambiguity. Simple. That is how it is. We have brought simple and true Christianity. Let them imbibe this Christianity. I welcome all Ugandan to holiness revival movement worldwide. This is the last day ministry. God has raised to revive the church to the truth of the gospel, truth of the Bible, and to the life of righteousness and holiness. Thank you so much, Pastor Paul, for accepting our invitation, for accepting to be on our show. Thank you. Thank you. At Lava program or Kuyutiwa online ku YouTube ne Kusta TV webale nyo kubanga obwedda o wekumide kuneno ngo tulaba era ngo goberera bwechi chigambo cha katonda bwechi gamba tino tuweyo emirimu ya fenga sadake namu beranga ofubira dala okubanga owayo mubiri ku nga sadake namu eri katonda omwekumire oberengo owereza omwagale kuba katonda wanja ulo atwagala nyo nafe tusanye Mwagale. Kuba chiruma nyo, gamuna kuagala, atenga gweto mwagala. Bwe chito wechili neri katonda. Aba ulida uwinga kuagala, atenga gweto mwala avele. Norwecho tuwenga tuagala katonda, tuwekumile katonda, omulonji, ata, omulonji, ata tusasude, nga ebikolo wabia fe, wabili. Zaya nyango hiyo za ambabali, wukubanga kulete de program. Nkama tukumila mkela, akumkumila. Tosubwa, Kusta TV.